Hey guys, welcome. So today, we haven't had a towing video in a long time, and that's because we haven't been towing anything. We've been on the same job. Uh, I dropped the machines off on the 23rd of June, and we finished the job on the 23rd of July. So, we've been there for a minute, but it paid good. And, well, you guys saw the neighbor issue if you watched that video. If you didn't, you should go back and watch it. But we got the old trailer hooked up. Not taking the new one because the new one is actually uh, five, six feet longer. And it's got that long dovetail that takes up a lot of real estate. It's awesome trailer, but this one is really easy to maneuver and we're gonna need easiness to maneuver where we're headed. So let's get on the road. It is, gosh dang, 100 and some degrees today, I swear. <laughs> so it's 102. When I first got this thing, I had it weighed. So without the transfer tank in the back, without the spare tire up there, uh, it might have had the ranch hand on the front, but since then I've added the aluminum wheel, so I lost a little bit of weight and gained some weight. But with the 25 foot Texas Pride trailer, it weighed just about 19,000 pounds. So the truck itself weighed 9,600 when I first got it, scaled it. So the trailer, <laughs> they weigh about the same. Full. Kind of heavy. I'm gonna go pick up the Prime Tech, which weighs 22,000 pounds, give or take. And we're gonna go to the scale house to check. Now, I don't have a cat scale. The scale I go to is at the gravel yard, because that's the closest thing I have. The next closest to that for like a cat scale would be probably an hour plus out of my way. And I'm just curious to see what we weigh with the Prime Tech, because it's the heaviest one that I all uh, often because might be getting one that weighs a little bit more and I want to see where I stand with this truck being a crew cab long bed with all the weight to see if it's within my 45,000 pound sticker that I have my gross rating is about 49,000 with a 30k trailer my other one, I'm right about 46. So we uh, we might be pushing it, but we'll find out. I think I'm, we're gonna be right about 42, 43,000 pounds, my guess gross. Moon and I are rolling up at the job. Now the last time I pulled in here, mind you, this is brand new blacktop, so he doesn't want a lot of, you know, twisting around with the front tires and stuff. So let's see if I can circle that way and then back up to where the machines are because I couldn't quite make it before but now I don't have a machine I can kind of finesse it a little bit better At the real estate you use it kind of funny the log truck comes in and out of here hauling 33 to 41 foot logs and he hasn't had any trouble but a gooseneck has trouble figure that out not the bank a little bit Hopefully we don't get a flat tire. When I tried to come in here with the excavator, since it's tilted, the cab was wanting to hit that tree. Heavy girl tied down. We got one up there just for you guys. Come on, Boone.
I'm honestly pretty dang happy with how that got that went right there because I didn't think I was gonna get it out of there that easy those are the neighbors that we're not uh, biggest fans of he showed up right there on his bicycle because I was trying to leave he didn't realize I need to take corners wide we got her out of there we're gonna head to that scale house like I said and then go drop this off at dad's and I somehow left my brand new water at the house so I am regretting that move but thank God for air conditioning people that don't drive around with air conditioning on or don't have one oh, you do Comment below your guys' guess on this total weight setup right now. We'll see how close you are. It's shedding dust right now, so we're shedding weight. Alright, moment of truth. They look like they're open drive up on this here scale wait for the green light I don't even know if they know we're here the guy's blocking it one green light See if we can get out of here without breaking a trailer because that guy's right in the way. Alright, let's go see what's in the way. What are you doing, boy? Scoot over, buddy. Scoot over. Alright, you guys ready for it? 41,440 pounds right there. That's my gross total weight. And it's funny because I, the first time I hauled the Prime Tech here, I made a video towing it. And I titled the video Dodge 5500 towing 41,500 pounds. And people called me a liar. Well, pretty damn sure that's close enough to 41,500 pounds. And I am tagged and rated for 49.5 if you add up the 30k plus the 19.5 for the truck but my legal registration is tagged at 45,000 so we still got 3,500 pounds worth of wiggle room I believe this machine weighs right at 22 with the bigger head on it and the other machine that we want to get uh, possibly no deals been made weighs 23 so I'll still technically be in the in the money even hauling the gyro track at 24.5 I can it's still there but I have about a quarter tank of fuel right now on a 50 gallon tank and uh, my transfer tank my 75 is empty right now because I wanted to <laughs> be sure that I wasn't gonna be over it but I got tons of room even if I fill up those things well we add like another 500 pounds, it'll be 42 ballpark. So let's go up here and fuel up and then take this thing to be built. Come on, scratch that. The uh, <laughs> the tanker's dropping fuel. He's got the station all blocked around the off road and the big rig pump. So we'll just go on to B Belt's house. But what a relief. I was worried that I was right on the threshold. Been driving around like this for almost four years I guess now I bought this truck in late 15 I had the prime tech for two years but I told the 080 which weighs a little bit less with tow, pig, tow piglets rig in the diamond C we are 38.5 gross with the 080 which is 3,000 less all right take a look at this little hill you guys have seen this a million times if you're locals to the channel right now it's just exhaust brake it's kind of pulling away a little bit right now but i do have a secondary engine brake made by pack brake it's pretty much a jake brake on top of the head i'll have to hit the brakes a couple times grossing damn near 42,000 pounds why is it 
that a truck that's 12 years newer than this, like that 2020 Ford, rated to tow more than this, has such a weak exhaust brake. I'll be dead honest, I was about to buy a Ford because those things pull awesome torque, great horsepower. If, they, if people don't think that that new Power Stroke's got low end torque, go drive one. They pull hard, just as hard or harder than a Cummins on the low end grind. But no exhaust brake, complete deal breaker. I don't care what anybody says. Hopefully dad's got the gate open for me. Hopefully. What's your guess on how much I weigh total right now? What's your guess? Reasonable. Camera's on, don't look like a dummy. Oh, I can't say that. No idea. You have no idea? Throw a number, see. Just throw a number. Yeah, I wish. Forty-five. Yeah. Fuel. His big butt. I only got quarter tank of fuel, and then my transfer's empty. It is getting hot, but I just went ahead and unloaded it. I, I drink a, a Red Bull on the way out there and I haven't had lunch. So I'm kind of feeling that Red Bull is getting the best of me. But the old 5500 is doing great. I have no complaints with towing that kind of weight with a pickup. You could always use more power. You could use more brakes. You've seen this trailer before. And you've seen that I've upgraded it. The main reason I upgraded it was because the brakes. It's got 12.5 um, electric drum brakes. They stop it, but it leaves you room to like have a little bit more desire for braking. So those electric over hydraulic disc brakes that I have on my new Diamond C, boy those things, I only run them like 60, maybe 70% on the trailer brake, and if you mash that thing, it'll want to put you through the windshield, so I'm really happy with how that thing played out, and the Diamond C is awesome, it just, on smaller jobs, it's very limited on, because that tail would virtually be just how this is, if it lifted straight up, so you have a lot, a lot of overhang. And it makes it difficult sometimes. I think I can get in there with that one. But this one is just easier. And I know it would fit. But for towing 22, 23, maybe even more with a pickup, I think I'd be completely fine with that. Especially if the newer one. Newer one's got more stock horsepower than this. And I would be forced to go with an automatic. If I were to have to buy one today, I would have no complaints and no worries if I bought another 5500 with a six speed IS and automatic, I would go with the regular cab because I don't really need the crew cab. It'd be, for one, it's saving weight. And for two, it's a lot easier to maneuver because this truck is crew cab long bed, but the bed is nine feet long. So this thing, wide front end, it turns on a dime. It's very awesome. But I would like to have the regular cab. I had to, I'd do that right now with that heartbeat, but I'd like to see the eight or nine speed that Dodge is gonna come out with next. I think that's going to be pretty nice with maybe 444s, but being the tow rig that I only do local stuff, 488s might not be the bad bad way to go. If you guys have a 5500 with 488s, let me know what your top, not really top speed, but like comfortable cruising speed plus like what your RPM is at that you know, speed. That way it'll dictate what I'm going to go with. For uh, but we'll wait to see. I got a little ways yet to think about it. I am still on the fence about getting a semi. Now I'd get a single axle semi, which is one axle back here. It's like a big version of a pickup truck. You get more horsepower, you get the engine brake, you got air brakes. And then, you know, I've been talking to Arthur at 10X Transport. He's got a YouTube channel, a full life adventure, because he's got the same Diamond C pretty much as mine, just a little heavier duty and uh, five feet longer. But he's one to upgrade to possibly. A Freightliner, but then Freightliner, that, I don't know, he's still on the fence, so he's thinking of going to Pete, but it's difficult to get the truck that you want that will meet your criteria by finding a used, I'd say a mini semi is pretty much what it is. Instead of 10, or 10, 10 wheel, it's just a six. It's hard to find the transmission you want, the length and everything used. So buying it new is like the only real option. Plus in California, we have to buy newer than 12 to meet carb compliant stuff and that's why this truck will soon bite the bullet uh, i'm not selling it don't ask but uh he's trying to figure out what his next game plan is he's got the trailer that can handle a bigger truck but then his 450 
he needs an exhaust brake. He needs a Jake brake. He needs some kind of an engine brake better than his 450s delivering. And so the research he does, him and I exchange back and forth trying to figure out what will be the next plan, whatever he goes with versus what I'm going with. But I'd say right now, if I went with another 5500, especially with the automatic, I don't think I would have any trouble. Maybe even get it uh, not derated and we'd be off to the races. But I'm going to go ahead and flip my ramps up and head on out of here. Go home, get a bite to eat. I think I'll just go and get the, uh, the 080 in the morning instead of in the heat of the day. The traffic was starting to get a little thick through town. But comment below what you guys think. Were you even close on your guesses? Or <laughs> you think that's too much for this truck? It is legal. It is 100% legal. I'll say that before I leave. Before I bought this exact truck, I went and talked to our local DOT officer, the commercial cop in the area, and I told him what I was going to buy, both the truck and the trailer. I told him the truck was rated at 19.5, and the trailer was rated at 30,000. He said, you combine those two up. You got 49.5, right? I said, yeah, and I'm wanting to buy a sticker for, I thought I only needed 40, but just to be safe, I went with a 45 registration sticker on the side of the truck. And he said, yeah, that sounds good. As long as your tires are rated for that kind of a weight, he's got no no worries. And if you notice, I got a not for hire sticker on there. I'm not for hire today. Sometimes I'm for hire. I take the sticker off sometimes. But I do have the necessary tags on the truck in case they prove I'm for hire or whatever it is but uh, for the most part I'm never for hire I'm just hauling personal stuff home anyway we'll see you guys on the next one later